I loved Creed 1 mm-hmm. and Creed 2 mm-hmm. and Creed Weathered and Creed Human Clay. But no, I love the first Creed movie. Creed was my first Rocky movie. You have to. I want to, Maggie. You have to because you got to see the robot. I mean, see, you say things like that. And it makes me not want to watch it. No, it's like, Matt, it's such 80s it's like crap, man. I don't want to watch 80s crap. I want to see Michael B. Jordan and all his s- angst. All sweaty. And like, yeah, I mean, that's part of it, you know? Here's the thing. Okay, here's what's great about this movie. <laughs> is that if you reworked this story, same exact story. <laughs> but with him. But with him as the protagonist and Michael B. Jordan as the antagonist, it would still work. And, like, I haven't seen a movie that solid, like, that in that aspect of it since, like, Black Panther. Yeah. You know, with Killmonger. And, obviously, I mean, I, I think of Killmonger. It's Kang and Killmonger. I know. The Battle of the K's. And Valkyrie's there, too. Yeah. It's interesting. KVK. Killmonger. Valkyrie. Kang. Okay. So, anyway. Uh, his story's Ooh. fantastic. Like, we were watching it. And I, I looked over at Maggie, like, an hour in. And I was like... This is perfect. This is like a perfect story. Because he's not a bad guy. No, he's not. Like, he's not a villain in it. Like, are there some questionable things? Of course. But, like, from his perspective, I can 100% see why he would be fucking pissed. Mm. You know? Yeah. I mean, and Makes again, we'll, we'll get into it in spoilers. But he is completely justified, I feel, in everything that mm. happens. Not saying I was on his side, but, like, I fully comprehend... Well, he Why was, he was doing yeah. it. Yeah. And I, I think they completely earned it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael B. Jordan it kills it, as always. I mean, it's, it, it almost like feels like uh, we're spoiled because he's just perfect at it. You know? Yeah. Like, anytime he's on screen, it doesn't matter. He just, he nails it. He nails it so good. And like, this, of course, was uh, uh, in this, he has a, a daughter now, which mm-hmm. I mean, uh, you know, they America. gave birth in the, the last movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's, you know, I don't even know how old she is, but she's a little girl now. And, like, of course, we just had a little girl. Seeing that, yeah. you know, that relationship, I definitely could identify with a lot of the, you know, not wanting her to see you angry, mm-hmm. right? And wanting to push through your bullshit, mm-hmm. you know, for their sake, you know. Um, I mean, I thought they nailed that. Mm-hmm. I thought Tessa Thompson was fantastic, too. Yeah. I mean, she, her story, like, we, we don't even really get to linger in it too long, mm-hmm. but... I mean, it 100% is accurate, you know, and it almost rides that line between the two of them. Yeah. But, like, seeing her stay strong, Mm -hmm. like, she's handling it the way that Creed wishes, that Creed should be handling it, Mm -hmm. you know? And so she's almost like this uh, this anchor for him, you know, of, like, what good can be. Yeah. It's fantastic. Maggie? Michael B. Jordan killed it as a director. Absolutely. The shots, some of the shots in there. Oh he like, proved. Uh, I mean, even one towards the end popped into my mind today. And I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Like, that was a lot of artistic thought that mm. went into that process. Mm-hmm. But not only you're the director, but also you have to direct yourself. <laughs> very, uh, <laughs> very rocky yeah. of him. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Thinking about that. Yeah. Legacy of Rocky continues in yeah. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> um, no, I completely agree. I think he, he killed it. There were several times that I had chills. You know, like there's there's one moment in particular, and it's during a montage. And like just the way the music just like yes. hits, you know, and, and with the visuals that you're seeing, like I, I was ready to get up and like start working out, you know? <laughs> Like in the middle of the theater. I didn't. I just ate more popcorn. But I wanted to. Like, I I felt like I could if I wanted to. Uh, But, yeah. And then, of course, again, before we get into spoilers. I mean, the fights were just amazing. Proved that you could do anime. Yeah. Somebody. Funimation, Crunchyroll, Toy Animation, whoever the hell needs to do this. Give him Dragon Ball Z. Yes. He could do it. He did it. He did it. He did it. I would honestly, I would say My Hero Academia, but they're already making a Netflix show out of it, and I don't want him to have a Netflix show. I want him to have like a, like a two hundred million dollar movie. We already we covered it on the show. No, but every time it's brought up, why? Uh-huh. Anyway, Dragon Ball Z. 
I'm telling you. It could be fantastic. And it definitely couldn't be any worse than what we already got. Evolution. Remember when Spike was Piccolo? Yeah. <laughs> she was crazy. <laughs> All right, Maggie. Okay. Uh, so, if this is your first time watching one of our reviews, here's how this is going to go down. We are going to go into spoilers. After spoilers, we are going to come back spoiler-free, and we are going to add Creed 3 to our ranking mm-hmm. of spring 2023 so far. Yeah. Uh, we have had four movies on that list, so we will find out where Creed 3 will go. I think everybody Not already knows. Uh, but before we go into spoilers, Maggie, would you, I think we already know the answer to this, but would you recommend people go watch Creed 3? C. If Creed 3, if they watch Creed 1 and 2, or 1 or 2, and didn't really care for it, do you feel that Creed 3 does enough that they should try it again? I don't know. Depends on if you enjoyed the Rocky movies, I think. I feel like these are so far. They are, but beyond like, Rocky. but I know. But I'm just saying, boxing in general. If you don't like boxing, then this isn't for you. No, Maggie. God, uh, there's so much more to this than boxing. There's so much more to it than boxing. Come on. There's oh, Maggie. Come on. You're killing I me, love, Smalls. I love making him mad. No, like, I mean, here's the thing. If you didn't like the first Creed. Something's wrong with you. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say you shouldn't watch Creed 3. You should go back and watch whatever fucking garbage you think is good. Because if you don't like Creed 3, I don't know. Or Creed 1, I don't know. Like, I don't know what you can like. But it's got to be terrible. You know? Like, oh, I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't no. Creed was fantastic. And Creed 3, I feel like, is right there. Right there with Oscars. it. Oscars. Everybody. Oh, please. God, please give them Oscars. Just all, all of them. them. Um, all of them. No, I would 100% recommend this. Uh, if you do not like, if you did not enjoy Creed, I would say there's no point in you watching it because it's, it's just more good. But I really want to know who you are. I want to know why you don't like Creed. Like, what did you have against it? They're not going to admit it. I just want to know. Let's go like, spoilers. And it's, not, it's not even a matter of like me judging anybody. I just want to understand... Because maybe I'm not seeing it from their perspective, okay? Maybe they have a really good reason. I can't imagine that they do, but I want to know what they think it is, okay? And lastly, uh, I would say anybody that's not watched any Creed movies, you would be okay to just mm-hmm. go in on this one. Uh, Trey said, this movie felt like a standalone and not a sequel. Completely agree. Agreed. I think you can 100% just start the movie. I mean, sure, there's going to be some references you're not going to get, but this completely stands on its own. And if you watch this, you know, I I would say don't sleep on this just because you've not watched one and two. Like, I would say go watch this one. Yeah. As soon as possible. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all I'm going to say before we get into spoilers. Anything else you'd like to say, Maggie? All right. Here we go. Everybody, here comes the spoilers. Spoilers. I can't believe Creed when it's dead the whole time. <laughs> Dang. Uh, that's, I do that joke every I time. know, Matt. No, uh, okay. So the scene where he's like practicing, he's trying to, to get it back, you know, mm-hmm. and he's fighting uh, Drago, he's sparring mm-hmm. with Drago, and like he's down on the ground and he's remembering all the times that he, he got up, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and the music just like kicks in right there. Like for real, I was like, chills like even just talking about it, i've got chills like it's it's just so ah it's so, just so perfect everything about that and the scene at the end okay yeah. when they were having the the final boxing realm yes and everything cuts to black yeah and, and they're just, in the shadow realm yeah. <laughs> right and then it cuts dude. it cuts back and it's round 11 i was like huh dude I was like, I had a feeling this would last like, for a bit, but I thought we'd see it. Like when know? he when he knocks, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Jonathan Majors that goes into the ropes, and it's a prison cell yeah. behind him. Like, come the fuck on! This is amazing. Like, just the just. And then I'm totally seeing, blanking on words because I've been up since six. But and them seeing each other as kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. And then uh, towards the end, when after the fight's over with. And Adonis goes in there to talk to yeah. uh, Damien. Uh, and they both, you know, 
reconcile pretty much and they yeah. cried out man because they realized oh we were only kids can i say can i say that's my favorite thing about this movie no it's it's great like that's how human beings sh- should be yeah you know like here's a movie that for all intents and purposes should be a dumb fight movie where two meatheads beat the hell out of each other and then one comes out on top and gets the girl or whatever, right? Like, that's that's how these have been for decades. Yeah. Excuse me, decades at this point. Like, this movie should be... Uh, it should be empty and void of any actual, yeah. like, thought. Yeah. Right? Like, movies like this, that's how they should be. Yeah. Right? Um, like, that's what we deserve as a society out of this movie, is for us to, to not get a, a well-made film, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but Michael B. Jordan... I truly feel like in this movie that I, ha- I haven't felt like this since like probably probably the Matrix or Fight Club. I would say um, maybe maybe Inception or Interstellar. Like it's almost like once a decade there's a movie that comes out and it's like oh here's where we are now in yeah. film. You know, like this changed things. And I'm not saying Creed 3 is going to change things, but this feels like the first movie of a new generation. Mm-hmm. Like not only are we going to get just phenomenal action set pieces uh with the fighting and everything. And not only we're going to get uh just perfectly acted, well-written, rounded characters, right? But we're also going to get symbolism. We're also going to get anime inspiration right and we're also gonna have two dudes after beating the hell out of each other cry together and like forgive each other and like that that's amazing and it's earned and it it doesn't feel superficial it doesn't feel like it is shoehorned in there like it was the fact that we end the movie with them letting go of their anger towards each other after they've beat the hell out of each other, right? That they are willing, that they can just let it go yeah. at that point. Like, that's beautiful, mm. you know? And, like, that doesn't just happen. We don't get movies that do that. We get movies where it's like, oh, family, don't run, duh. you know? Like, Brian. <laughs> right? Oh, we're going to go to space. Like, even Marvel doesn't really go to those places. Like, sometimes they'll do good stuff, yeah. obviously. But, I mean, a lot of the time, you know, we don't get, like, Like, this could, if the right person watched this and really took it to heart, this could change someone's life. Yeah. Like, they could walk away from this movie being a better person because of what they learned from this. Yeah. And that's incredible. (laughs) Like, that's what movies are supposed to be, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. So beautiful. So wonderful. Uh, This was a really sad scene when his... It wasn't really his mom, mom, yeah. but he pa- mom. yeah, he called her mom when she was passing away. Yeah. And she, if <laughs> it were only simple in real life, I mean, yeah, I'm it's sure. true. Um, when she's passing away, and Adonis thinks that you know she's you know you know you're you were you're filled with so much anger yeah. when I first met you. And then she go, and then she calls him Apollo, and he's like, he tries. He thought about correcting her. He tried once, and then he just let her be. And she said, "Why'd you leave me alone, Apollo?" Mm. She said, "But now I'm gonna go be with you." And I thought that was sweet. Come the hell on, you know. And like, <laughs> what? Okay, now I got to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes, really freaking good. Yeah, go see it. Yeah, it's uh, beautiful. And I gotta say, Jonathan Major's character, I kind of alluded to this before the spoilers, yes. but like, specifically the fact that he was, he was going so to be like the premier boxer, yeah. you know, like he was, he, his life was on that path. Right. That to be his, to yeah. have Creed's life. Yeah. Like he, that was going to be yeah, his. Yeah, he wanted to he said that he wanted to be in the Olympics, yeah. fought for you uh, box for USA, then he's going to go pro. Yeah. And and they showed us he had the chops to do it. Yeah. Like it wasn't like he was saying all this and he actually sucked. Yeah. Like no, like he very much should have been on that path. Mm-hmm. And then he stuck up for him for Creed and ends up losing 18 years of his life 
And while he does that, Creed lives his, his life, life, you know? And so, like, when I say that, you know, a movie from his perspective, Creed would absolutely be the antagonist of it. Like, yeah. I mean, imagine watching a movie about Jonathan Majors going to jail because he was trying to protect his little brother. I mean, they're not actually brothers. But they call each other brothers. Yeah. And when he comes out, it turns out his little brother had lived his entire life. It's almost yeah. like Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's almost like yeah, that, you know? Yeah. Uh, but better, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and, like, him trying to climb out of this system, one that looks at him as nothing but uh, an ex-con, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, someone that went to jail for, for having a gun, you know, at a young age. Yeah. And like trying to dig out of that to become the champion of the world. And like that's a beautiful story. Yeah. Like that's a fantastic movie. I would watch that movie, you know? And like we get that movie in this. And so you're almost like like at the end when they're fighting each other, you know, it's not a clear like, you know, it, like I was like, please, please, Adonis has to win. But then a part <laughs> of me is like but how would it go if yeah. Damien won? And it know? wasn't like overwhelmingly one or the other. Yeah. Like, you know, most movies like this, what, what'll happen is like, oh, the, the hero comes out of retirement and oh, he starts getting shellacked. But then by the final round, like, oh, he, he comes out on top, right? Like yeah. he learns something, remembers something. He's like, oh, now I'm stronger. Blah. But like, you know, they get their ass kicked for the first 12 rounds, yeah. right? Uh, this That doesn't happen in this. They both beat the hell out of each other. And it's not really clear, you know, like, I mean, uh, Jonathan Majors gets the shit kicked out of him, but so does Michael B. Jordan, you know? (laughs) So, like, you get to the end and it's not like, it's not even like Creed uh, has to, like, unleash all the things that that Jonathan Majors would, like, hurt him. Like, literally the only thing that Jonathan Majors did in this movie that was kind that put him on the side of being the antagonist, right? Is when he broke that boxer's hand yeah. by hiring somebody that he yeah. was in jail with. That's the only thing he does that's just a hair on the wrong side. Yeah. You know? And also knocking that other dude out, like Cruz. I think his last name is Cruz. Uh, well, but, I mean, I don't know. That's your boxing. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> like, you're supposed to win. Yeah, but. Uh, it's like saying, oh, uh, you know, Jeff Gordon shouldn't have come in first. <laughs> I don't watch racing. Of any kind, obviously. He's retired now, but that's how I used to feel more for It's like, no. I only, I only know Jeff Gordon because of, like, Fox Kids. He would be on. Oh, be on I know. That. I know. That's his Welcome to the Super Digi Bowl 2002. Ugh. My name's Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> <laughs> the Digi <laughs> Deiston is great. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta look that up. Uh, his red shorts at the beginning. Oh, yeah. They're par- apparently based off Akira. Yeah, right? Akira. Yeah. yeah, same same style as the jacket. But how they how he, they filmed the how like he slow mo and then like you could see his eyes looking for that spot and seeing if it was consistently staying yeah, open. Like that's pretty cool. It was fantastic, and that happens in real life. Yeah, because. I didn't box or anything. I played volleyball. Yeah. But that crap happens. You can, whenever you can just, it's it's quick. And if it happens, you're like, oh, I see it. I'm going to take it. Yeah. So like if I saw an open spot on the court. Yeah. And if, was, if the ball was to me, I'd hit it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd try to hit it in that spot. No, I know, I know exactly what you mean. Like, you know, I'll have like a whole row of like four and then another row of four. And like that lawn piece starts coming down and it clears them all out and I get a Tetris. My God. Nothing like it. Nothing like that's what they're the pieces are called. That's what they're called. They're Tetris. Okay. It was a joke. Because I play Tetris. I love Tetris. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh yeah. Go watch this damn movie. Uh Trey said, I like the different take of the last match scene when the audience disappeared and it's just two of them fighting yes. for different imaginations. Yeah. Tom Notch. That's honestly. great. That was very creative. And it was I almost like it. that's what they were both seeing. Yeah. You know, like in that moment they were they were in a shared and then, delusion. <laughs> then you heard ding 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 round eleven. I was like, What? Yeah, the way they made Tom pass through that. And I mean it was just 
I mean, it, it, for real, that was the most anime thing I'd ever seen in the best possible way. Yeah. It's like, done so well. It reminded me so much of <laughs> of Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, we're like, in a different time, they, they wouldn't be rivals, they'd be brothers. Yeah. You know? And like, I mean, obviously, this is so much better <laughs> than the story that, of Goku and Vegeta. But like, just seeing these two at like the the top of their at the, of their game, you yeah. know. And like, they don't even try and like uh, explain away Jonathan Majors' climb to the top. Like, they don't try and be like, oh, he's seventeen and oh, like, and you know, just show no, like no. time keep. No, he's he won one fight no, and he became made the bank. champion, and now he's fighting Creed. And like, that's just like we don't have to explain that. Like, it just, it, that is what it is. No. No. And that's because the real world is like that. Like, I'm not saying that, that that would happen in the real world, but, I mean, people make stupid decisions based solely off of anger, like Creed does, this, yeah. you know? So, anyway, uh, I loved it. I loved it a lot. I, I want, uh, well, and also Michael B. Jordan's already saying that he wants to yeah, man, it. God, please. Do it. Make several more. Make several more of these, but then... Not anytime soon. I don't, I don't want to, like... I'm rooting for that one, though. I want the Amara movie, and I want him to be her Rocky, and she's his Creed, right? Like, I want that, but I want that in, like, 10 to 15 years. I don't want that as Creed 4. Like, I want more of Creed! He's in his prom! No, he's, prom. he's old! No! They're old! Maggie, Rocky was still boxing people in, like, 2006, okay? Uh, Adrian... Well, I will say one. I did miss Rocky. I did too. Like I, I don't think it hurt the movie at all. No. Like I'm definitely not no. deducting any points for it. But I, I do think, especially the the only part that kind of stuck out like a sore thumb was his mom's funeral. Mm-hmm. I really feel like Rocky would have been there. Rocky would have. Been yeah, there. and like just not having him there, kind of like felt mm-hmm. like you know, yeah. like that's the only piece of it that I was like, I wish they would have. You know, tried to do that. Yeah. Even though Sylvester Stallone still got paid for being a producer, producer which yeah. good for him, you know. Go on, you man.